Welcome fellow bookworms to Tibra's Den. My name is Whitney and today I have the prompt announcement for Genreathon, which is, this is your first time here. Genreathon is my year-long readathon where we focus on different genres slash genre adjacent, like age ranges and such. Um, and yeah, I've really been enjoying doing this. I've definitely gotten outside of my comfort zone in certain instances. And so this prompt for August is it's back to school. So to read either a children's middle grade or coming of age story. Now, none of those are all that outside of my comfort zone. I frequently read children's or middle grade. I mean, I say frequently, but not as often as like I read young adult or adult. Um, I say every couple months and probably sneaking one in there. And I love coming of age stories, but I typically don't read coming of age. I tend to watch like coming of age movies and such. Or reading them, I don't typically read coming of age stories, but I do enjoy them. So my choice for this is more of a classic, um, which again, I do read classics, but not the beloved ones typically. <laughs> For whatever reason, I'm definitely getting more into that this year. But I chose Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. So I'm really, really excited to read this. I am familiar with the story. I did re watch the most recent Netflix adaptation. Um, but I've never read the book. And I have also Anne of the Island and Anne of Avonlea. Um, so I do have those two as well. I found this set at a thrift store and picked them up. I already had the first one in a different, like, collection, but now I have a matching set, which I'm excited about. So, um, I'm sure most of you <laughs> are familiar with Anna Green Gables, but just in case, the Cuthbert's, the Cuthbert's of Green Gables had decided to adopt an orphan, a nice sturdy boy to help Matthew with the farm chores. The orphanage sent a girl instead, a mischievous, talkative redhead who'd be no use at all. She would just have to go back. But the longer Anne was there, the more no one could imagine Green Gables without her. And Anne and Gilbert are some of my favorite fictional characters ever, especially Gilbert. Like, I absolutely love him. So I'm really, really excited to actually give this a read. If you are participating, definitely let me know what you're reading down below. I really enjoy, you know, seeing what you guys are reading because it gives me you know, inspiration for future reads if I like these types of books or other books I can try if I want to get more into that genre or genre adjacent um, uh, books. So yeah, I really would love to know what you guys are reading if you're participating. And I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys here. Happy reading, everyone. Bye.